An electron enters a uniform electric field in the middle between the two charged plates at 3000 meters per second. So this is the initial velocity of the electron. The pair of metal plates is connected to a 15 volt battery and it's separated by a distance of 25 centimeters. Assume gravity is negligible for this question. Calculate the horizontal displacement d of the electron when it reaches the metal plate shown. So there's a few things we should clarify here before we go into the calculations. Gravity is negligible in this situation because the acceleration of the electron due to gravity, which would be 9.8 meters per second squared, will be very, very small compared to the acceleration due to the electric field. We can actually calculate and work out the acceleration due to the electric field by first finding the force due to the electric field. And this is given by the charge of the electron multiplied by the strength of the electric field. The strength of the electric field is given by the voltage between the two metal plates divided by the distance between them. So this is 15 volts divided by 0.25 meters, and this gives us 60 volts per meter. And of course, by way of review, the direction of the electric field always goes from the positively charged metal plate towards the negatively charged metal plate. And in this case, the force acting on the electron will be upwards because the electron is negative, so it experiences a force towards the positively charged metal plate. Now that we've found the strength of the electric field, we can work out the force acting on the electron. By taking the charge of the electron, 1.602 times 10 to min minus 19 coulombs, times by 60 volts per meter. So this gives me minus 9.6 times 10 to the power of minus 18 newtons. And of course, the negative sign here indicates that the force is going upwards against the direction of the electric field, which is going downwards. The acceleration for the electron can be worked out by using Newton's second law, taking the force and dividing by the mass of the electron, which is 9.109 times 10 to the power of minus 31 kilograms. And this gives me an enormous acceleration of 1.1 times 10 to the power of 13 meters per second squared. And just to emphasize, this is the reason why we can assume that the acceleration due to gravity is negligible because 9.8 meters per second squared is an extremely small number compared to the acceleration due to the electric field. This enormous acceleration is acting upwards towards the positive charged plate, and that's called this A. To work out the horizontal displacement of the electron, we need to employ the kinematic equations that we've learned in projective motion from module 5. The first one I will go with is Vy squared equals to Uy squared plus 2Ay sy. Notice how all my vectors, my velocities, both final and initial, as well as the displacement and acceleration are in the vertical direction. So Vy squared is the vertical component of velocity when the electron reaches the positive charge plate, so that's called this point here Vy. And Uy will be, of course, the vertical component of the initial velocity. So in this case, this will be 0 squared as the electron is traveling horizontally at the beginning. Ay is the vertical acceleration. And as we said, in this case, this will be 1.1 times 10 to the power of 13. Sy will be the vertical displacement between the starting point and the end point of the electron's motion. So because the electron enters the field in the middle between the two plates, the displacement will be half of 25 centimeters. So this will be 0.125 meters. The velocity I calculate here is roughly 1.6 times 10 to the power of 6 meters per second. I can use this final velocity in another kinematic equation, Vy equals Uy plus Ayt, to finally work out the time of flight. So the time of flight here will be Vy minus Uy divided by Ay. Vy is 1.6 times 10 power 6. Uy is 0. Ay is the tremendously large acceleration that we calculated before, 1.1 times 10 power 13. Our time of flight is 1.5 times 10 to power minus 7 seconds. Finally, to work out the horizontal range or the horizontal displacement, Sx, 
we can take the initial horizontal velocity, ux, and multiply by the time of flight. And just to emphasize that the way this equation works is assuming that the horizontal velocity remains constant as there are no acceleration of forces in the horizontal direction. The initial horizontal velocity is 3000 meters per second. And the time of flight, as we just calculated, is 1.5 times 10 to the power of minus 7 seconds. And this gives me a horizontal displacement, which is d of 4.4 times 10 to the minus 4 meters.